Okay, this is Preston Sandler with Home Inspection Carolina. Um, today I'm going to be talking about uh, polybutylene piping and some problems associated with polybutylene piping. Uh, I've got some examples here, and this is actually under a house that, that does have some polybutylene piping. It's an older house, it's got a little bit of everything. Uh, we'll walk over here and take a look um, so you can see some polybutylene piping there. Um, uh, this house has got a lot of issues, but uh, <laughs> plumbing just being one of them. Um, let's go under here for a second what i'd like you to look at is uh it's got a galvanized main coming in it's corroded and it's got a leak there and then it connects to some polybutylene piping um there are two problems associated with polybutylene piping um the first one uh, let's get back over here to our polybutylene examples the first problem was the first generation polybutylene piping had um, the uh, polybutylene uh, end pieces or fittings and they would just blow out and then you would um, you'd have leaks so then they, they figured out the fittings were bad so the second generation polybutylene piping came out with uh, copper fittings there's a newer one the copper looks better but um, they, they they solved the problem with the fittings blowing out but then the problem was the polybutylene pipe itself and it's always this gray pipe there's actually a whole roll of it right there um, what would happen is if you're on city water your water's chlorinated and over time the uh, the chlorinated water would make the pipe very brittle and cause it to crack and burst. So anyway, those are some of the problems associated with polybutylene pipe. Preston Sandlin's Home Inspection Carolina. Thanks.